All right, let's continue. AI the Somnium Files. <laughs> oh, no, wait. We gotta wait. wait for loading, probably. I got memories. These memories don't, like, help me a lot. You know, these random images. I guess they helped me a little bit. Guy escaped. Oh yes. I do remember. Alright. Let's go where we've been before. Holiday, but Sunfish Pocket is open. It was... What is she doing? Wow, this is surprising. What's going on here? <laughs> Why are you two together? Oh, well, it's... Forget it. Thanks for letting me stay last night. Oh, no trouble at all. Anytime. You can even live with me if you want. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a great idea. Mm. The roommate I have right now really sucks. <sighs> this girl. What color? That's a chair. I'm curious about her trident. Do you know this mermaid? <laughs> She's my friend from back when I worked here. We would hang out outside of work, too. We go to haunted places and UFO sightings and stuff. Oh? Blow those boys away! Blow those boys away! Yeah, what is that? blow those boys! Away. Mizuki, uh... You really shouldn't say that. Mr. Okira helped me when I was just starting out. You know how my mom is single? He really yeah. supported her. He even changed my diaper when I was a little baby. I got hired by London Escape all because of him. Mm. Iris used to stream all her own content. Like singing and dancing and gaming and stuff. But before we knew it, she went viral. Right, I heard about that. That's how she started getting offers, right? But because Iris's mom knows Renju, she decided to go with Lemniscape. But there's more to it than that. There are other reasons. Daddy was totally taken in by her talent. Mm -hmm. The talent? Dancing, really. Her dancing is what got her into Lemniscape. He knew ever since she was young that she would be talented. I didn't know that. Daddy's not the type to give compliments. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. I didn't know he thought of me that way. More than sleeping and eating? Well, maybe about the same as eating. Anyway, I've always loved moving my body ever since I was a little girl. And you're fast, too. Yeah, I did a lot of track meets. Were you always the anchor? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Hey, wanna hear something cool? Iris no. is the goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology. She's the messenger of the gods. She's really fast. Rainbows being so fast to disappear was the source of the legend. You're as fast as your namesake then. You wanna race? <laughs> sure, when we get the chance. <laughs> Iris, uh, I still need to know. Yes, the important detail. What were you doing Sunday at 2 a.m.? You haven't fulfilled your promise. This is the day I fulfilled my promise. I told you. No info until the date is complete. Don't you get it? This date isn't over yet. Oh. 
right here? Oh, I want to see too. Me too. I would also only one like dance. to see that. Mm, I don't know. Come Pull up on, the stream. just show up. But all right, I'll go set up. Oh boy. Wait. I regret this. Hey, Sean. Jeez. Fine, if you insist. Yay! Hey, Sparrow Belly. You're just in time to watch a All dance. Alright, world, get ready! See my dance! Invincible Rainbow Arrow! Oh boy. Hit it! Sounds kind of like uh, the Bomberman music, actually. Teacups that are flying, on maps mystifying. You'll think that I'm hiking this old tale of mine. A journey through time. A permanent fire, cold frost on the pyre. Fruit never expires. You've seen in your eyes. You've seen in your mind. While the old I mean, the devils of time against you Never let the fire fade in you See the golden goddess with wings of rainbows Set sail through the night sky to embrace you Resist, I love your heart to take you Never let the sparks of this world erase you Passing down the light of the torch to guide you And you shall be bathed in light Ah! Uh, it hurts! song mr okira wrote the music and i wrote the lyrics imagine <laughs> i do that irl all the time oh that's so that's my side thing on the stream heart. for sure that's right i forgot he wrote music yeah he's really talented i look Is up he? to him he's done so much for me i know i can rely on him more than anyone else oh i should get my uh my notepad open where's that Notepad. Where did I save that? Here it is. Well, that was a big waste of time, Iris. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> I'm sure it does. Speedrunning this kind of game is uh, kind of not my favorite thing. The police asked me a bunch of questions. But I don't know where he is. Okay. What are you doing here? What are you gonna do? Scold me or something? No. Why do you care what I do? Why are you so angry? I'm not angry. In fact, I'm feeling good. Mm. Um, excuse me. Mizuki was crying earlier. <gasps> yes. Mizuki, Mizuki has her voice back. She, uh, let's see what happened. There was... She just kind of got it back randomly. Um, Iris's mom, like, hung out with her overnight at a hospital, I guess. Or maybe just hung out. And then she got her voice back. And is also apparently her teacher. Crying? I have a lot of notes, actually, from the last stream. Yes. We were trying to cheer her up. What happened to her mom was... And we thought she was having a hard time. She must have come here looking for company. Yeah. That's probably why she stayed with Iris last night. She didn't want to be alone. <laughs> Shoko's body is still under the jurisdiction of the police. 
There has not been a ceremony, nor has the body been cremated. The culprit has not been caught, and we cannot locate Renju. And on top of that, her roommate has abandoned her. Her roommate? I did not abandon her. In any case, there are many ways you could calm Mizuki down. Mizuki is just trying to act strong. Please, try to understand. All right. Why are you asking me about that? Why not? I was just curious. Game gave me the option. That company was made by my grandpa, but daddy has nothing to do with it. I don't know anything about the warehouse. Okay, tell me more. I thought I told you this already. Don't ask me the same questions over and over. It Does usually it? works. <gasps> She's lying. She's lying? Possibly. She may just be excited or upset. I'm going to examine this cream soap. I'm going to examine this tape. And this menu. Eating sushi off a naked woman for 780 yen? Let's go. We're going. Oh, that sign is wrong. Someone added letters. It's supposed to say Nitayimori. Boiled Newt. Oh, <laughs> boiled Newt. 780 yen. Damn and all the things. Oh, we got a security camera. That's important. That actually may be important. Probably is important. Probably seen. All right, mermaid. What do you have? I can x-ray. I x-rayed before. We learned that it does have a skeleton. Those are some nice hit bones. Okay. Glad we did that. What do you like in me? <laughs> oh my god. Mizuki comes here a lot. She's really friendly with everyone. I like it here. Everyone treats me nice. Is it because you're the daughter of the owner? No, it's because it's their no, job. No, it's not like that. We're BFFs! She wields extraordinary power with that trident. The Okiura family is really something else. I've heard that Renji was sighted. When do you mean? When? I got the info a few minutes ago, but I don't know when he was seen. Oh. Ringing any bells? Well, he hasn't come by today, but... Yesterday? But I was here yesterday. I wasn't here all day yesterday. It was after that. After you and Ota left. Why didn't you tell me sooner? You didn't ask. And I don't have any way to contact you. Damn it. We just missed him. Oops. I did <laughs> well, I guess we're choosing well, this option. A triple ward sea devil or an anacanthus barbatus. Huh. That's enough. He was looking for Iris. He was asking everyone where she was. Looking hmm. for me? Yeah. Did he give a reason? No, not in particular. Iris, can you think of why he would be looking for you? No, not at all. To kill her. I don't, know. I don't know either. Did she have her phone off? I guess maybe she did have her phone off yesterday. Anything I think else? She did. Well, he did seem really sick. He was pale and sweating a lot. It must have been because of the accident. Perhaps. Oops. Okay, we're done here. Unfortunately, we didn't find. Re but we discovered that he was looking. But why? We can think about that. Let's get going. Yeah, next. You're right. Next. I want to go here. I'm I'm going back to places I've been to before. So that's my current plan. This time we have to go here with Iris. Gonna help us look.
maybe. Or I think she's going to hide something. I saw it. I'm sure. Your corpse, Iris. Right here. But I'm here now. Maybe I'm a ghost. You don't look like a floating sheet. You have legs. But maybe they're not legs. Maybe they're my boobs. Didn't you say that you saved me in your dream? What did you mean by that? I told you that I'm with an organization called Abyss, right? Yeah, you told me two days ago. We find clues in the minds of suspects and witnesses. We enter what we call Somnium, a dream world projected by their subconscious. That's what the entire organization is about. How do you even do that? Magic. We have a machine that we call... What is that? It's a sync machine. That's not an explanation. Tell me how it works. Well, um, I can explain, but it will require a bit of background on... Background? Yes, we're explaining. Oh, oh. Check it out. Examine all the things. The switchboard is suspicious. Hey, get out of my house! What the hell? I'm a poltergeist inside the circuit board. What? You said I was a ghost, right? Maybe I'm haunted. What are you talking about, Ira? Okay. Oh, I can examine it. Hmm. That's significant that it's frozen to the ground. That's gonna be significant. Maybe. Hi, I'm Jemima! Why? You know, from kaiju movie? Again, what? That caramel over there looks so good! Yeah, you're right. But if I tried to eat it in one bite, I'd break my jaw. What are you talking about, Date? That's a cardboard box. You started... <sighs> this dialogue. Really. Okay, so, do you know about the BBB? I've heard of it. The blood brain barrier, right? Inside the school, there's an army of little teeny tiny. They protect the brain from bad stuff in the blood, right? That's almost it. Yeah. I didn't know that. The blood brain barrier describes the architecture of the micro vessels of the brain. It is a kind of shield that protects the brain. To get through, an object must be no larger than 0.4. Objects too large to slip through the barrier cannot physically access the brain. nanotech technology related to really small things like and when they make a machine they're called nano machines i heard they use them a lot for medical and tech fields some of the cutting edge nano machines can even go inside your body and they can even cure cancer and they go beep 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 that's what mom said well i don't know part. if it was like beep beep or rrr, rrr. But anyway, nanotechnology costs tons of money. Only a few people can even afford it. My college professor said only the richest of the rich have nanotechnology. He's pretty it liberal, so accurate. what does that mean? <laughs> nano is a prefix meaning 10 to the negative ninth power. A nanometer is therefore zero. The sync machine uses machines approximately 2.16 nanometers. Long. Viruses are on average 20 to 970 nanometers. So sync nanomachines are far smaller than that. This allows them to access neural circuitry. During a sync, the nanomachines are used to write in the sinker's data. Hmm. 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 I guess not. No, I know what it is. It's what? the core programming behind AI, right? That's right. What's wrong? What? You're shivering. It's nothing. Mm. Don't worry about it. To borrow Pewter's explanation, with the advent of the Wadjet system, we can extract the data of the human psyche. This data is sent to the brain, which achieves the sync. I didn't know this was public knowledge. Hmm. Hmm.
I'm making notes. Uh, well, let's see. How, did, how is that worded exactly? Extract data from the human site. This data is sent to the brain. Okay, you have the basics down. Let me explain how syncing works. Sinkers like me equip the sync gear and use it to access the subject's brain. Inside the helmet are nano cables. And on the tip of each of these cables is a special nano machine. But the machine can't reach the brain through blood alone. Do you know why? The BBB soldiers say, go away and... Well, yeah, kind of. But for the sync to work, we have to get the nano machines into the brain itself. How do we do that? Drill a hole in the skull? No. In Shovel Forge, you can use a pickaxe and... No, it has nothing to do with tools. <laughs> we don't have to open a hole. Skulls already have holes in them. One of those holes is the optic canal, which is a nerve mm. canal located behind the eyes. The nano cables of the sink gear go through your eyes. Ah. Then go to the back of your eye socket. Then through the optic canal to the sea. The sea? The sea of brain cells, anyway. That sounds kind of romantic. No, it doesn't. It's only a chunk of protein. Once the nano cables arrive at their destination, they can begin the sync process. They slide into the brain like roots of a tree, and on the tip of each cable, the nano machine sends and receives data. This is controlled by the Wadjet system, and that's how the sinker and the subject exchange information. Exchange? Think of it this way. The human brain has a max capacity of one psyche. Multiple instances of consciousness inside one brain can cause a total collapse of higher brain functions. You know how a car only has one steering? If there were two, there would be accidents all- Well, don't some planes have two control sticks? Okay, <clears throat> eh, maybe it wasn't the best metaphor. What I'm trying to say is that the human body can only hold one person. If you try to have two people inside one brain, it will Add break. Add this to my facts list. I see. Because of this, the sinker's data goes inside the subject's brain, and the only thing inside the subject's mind at the time of the sink are their memories. Like a house with no one inside. We sinkers break into the house, look for clues, and leave. All within six minutes. There's a time limit? Yes. Or else, the house will collapse. The neural circuits would become too deeply entwined with one another. To put it simply, the sinker would be trapped inside the subject's... Thank you for explaining it. I don't completely understand how sync. Just don't tell anyone. This it's okay, I won't. Date. Yeah, sure. Tell me this. The streamer. Hmm? Who did you sync with yesterday? Uh, Didn't uh, I show uh, you his picture? Congressman So Sejima. So that's why you know so much about him. But you've never met him, right? I haven't, I swear. Sure. Hey, Date. You s I did. And in so stream, you saved me from getting killed. Yeah. And then somehow, I resurrected. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Seriously, he's terrible at keeping secrets. Hmm. Date, that means you're Achoo! a superhero. Date, is the cold too much for Iris? Yeah. Iris, let's get out of here. Roger that. Why did we have to come here to explain that? Okay, next. Is this the old lady's place or is this a new diner? By old lady. Old lady and Ota. Ota and Ota's mom. I don't think I. I don't even have Ota on my list of people. Ah, I'm so hungry! I did. I did see. Yeah. Kind of surprising. T Tessa? But kind of not, but kind of a little. Why are you here? I told Date I was hungry, so... I've always wanted to eat here. I'll have my usual, Ota. E yes, right away. Yeah, that's weird. That's definitely a weird thing. My guess is that they're gonna just sell them separately then for more money. That's my prediction about that. Ota can cook. Or your mom. She's in the living room. Hmm. 
not sure if I'm gonna get it, honestly, because I already own all those games, so I don't know. I think she's watching TV. How about you? What are you doing here? I kind of want it just for the collection purposes, like just have an unopened copy, but then I don't know. Thanks, Sparrow Bowie. I was just doing some meditation. He means sleeping. Date, why are you with Tessa? <laughs> we are not Shovel Forge. On a date. Oh, a date. Oh. Huh. A date? I'm on an investigation, and she wouldn't let me go. That's true, actually, now that you mention it. That's a good point. I don't know, was that really a limited time thing, or is that just a... Incidentally, we're not going to make more thing. Date, I have some delicious fugu eggs. I promise they're not poisoned. No thanks. I'm fine. Could be. But like every game, every game you eventually stop making stock for. So like, I don't know why you announce it otherwise. Yeah, my Just dad taught me when I was little. You're making me something too, right? Sure, my treat, Date. You're still looking for him? Well, like I told you before. All right, let's look around. Condiments, Salt, pepper, a blend. Mayumi's juice with mold. Kuroda Kazuaki's grilled tongue with salt. Date, you're drooling. Oh, I'm just really hungry. Oh, that's Payashi Samba's Hayashi Vangole. Oh. Room, mop, mop, it's a mop. Hey, it's a bucket. Tessa, could you kick that bucket there? Uh, oh. Like this? Yeah, but more. Like this? I can't believe he made her kick <laughs> the bucket. This is awesome! I did not realize there was someone more perverted than Date. Okay, I don't actually get that one. Apparently, I'm not perverted enough to get that joke. Hey, Date! I've got this video. Absolutely. Mm. Meow. Huh? What are you doing? Oh, you don't meow. know? It's good luck to imitate a cat in front of one of these. Really? Meow? Guess I'll have good luck. Meow. Date a Martian! That's just a stool. Dialogue, man. The dialogue in this game is ridiculous. It's pretty dumb, but it's kind of funny, but it's mostly dumb. Alright, I just gotta like, look at all Date, the things. Wanna have a pillow fight? Uh, Actually, Tessa, yes. Tessa, not in the store, please. Another lucky cat. Window. Nothing but a window. Alright, it's about time have a conversation. All right. Good luck. Perfect. All right. Let's talk about things. What's your usual? Omelet rice. Ota's omelet rice is so good it gives me stomach cramps. Is that a compliment? <laughs> You're in Well, Ota appears to have taken it as a compliment. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have. Have you met Ota's mother, Mayumi? Yeah, but I don't think she likes me. Oh, that's, that's not true. true. Mom that is, true. is just jealous of how pretty you are, Tessa. Not very reassuring. Whether out of jealousy or otherwise, she. Iris, about your coming back to life. Hold it! What do you mean, coming back to life? Uh. 
Date jumped into a parallel world where I'm still alive. Mm -mm -mm. Tessa. Doc. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey, can you tell me about this parallel world idea in more detail? Oh, oh boy. Sure. Here we go. How should I explain this? Well, I've heard of this before uh... in a million games. Oh, Probably. I know. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah. If we tie, nothing happens. We just shake hands. If I win, you have to give me something. Uh -oh. What if I win? I'll do anything. Anything. Uh, anything? Mm hmm. Anything. Dante, your heart I... rate is rapidly increasing. Why exactly is that? All right, let's do Why, this. Iba? Why? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, shoot. What should I throw out? Be firm. Be rock. Shoot. Nothing happens. Tie. The most boring result. Well, Indeed. we agreed on the rules. Let's shake hands. Shaky, shaky. Shaky, shaky. Did you? <laughs> shaky, shaky. No, this is real life. We just There's no rock, resetting. paper, scissors, right? We tied and shook hands. But in a different timeline, maybe I got a reward from you. Or maybe, maybe. you could have seen me naked or something. Why did maybe. I choose rock? <laughs> what exactly were you going to make her do? I was going to make her tell me who visited at 2 in the morning yesterday. So those timelines are what I'd call a parallel world. So you think I jumped from a world in which you were dead to this one where you're alive? That's what I think. Huh. You're crazy. I can't believe it, but... Sure you can. Parallel worlds exist. Aww. Do you know about the Mandela effect? Yes. Or the Booba Kiki effect? Booby? Or the 100 million balls? If I explain that, would you believe me? I don't know about that one. Sounds really interesting, Tessa. I know some urban legends like that. The Spatial Temporal Man and the Lost Friend. I don't know those. All right, Ota, what do you have? Yeah, Tell me about it's Slender sort of Man. like a common experience. A lot of people have experienced waking up in an uninhabited world they've never seen before. And most of them describe seeing the same person, the Spatial Temporal Man. Paranoia agent. I've seen that show. He's supposed to be an ordinary old man wearing work clothes. A spatial temporal man guides people back to the real world. He tells them, This world is not for you. I'd like to meet him someday. Okay. There's this kid, A. Well, this is a very much like 999. Nine, nine. This, this author likes his, uh, his sci-fi side stories to get you to open your mind to sci-fi weirdness that happen later in the plot. One day after school, they're walking home together. A turns around to tell Suzuki a joke, and Suzuki is laughing his butt off, and he's laughing and laughing, and he laughs so hard that his eyes fall out of their sockets. Wow. What? Well, they were hanging down out of his eye sockets. The nerves were still connected, but... A is, of course, in shock and doesn't know what to do. Suzuki just takes his eyeballs and jams them back into his eye sockets and keeps... So A asks him about it. Like, hey, are you okay? Your eyes fell out. A is really concerned for his friend, you know? But Suzuki just says, yeah, I'm fine. And by now, Hello, A Mark. is really curious. But he's not getting any answers. So the story only gets weirder from here. The next day, A goes to school and Suzuki's not there. A is confused, and hey, where's Suzuki today? And the teacher says, Suzuki? Who's that? There's no... A says, what are you talking about? Well, hey, good to see you then. Thank you. And he goes and asks all of his classmates about Suzuki. They all say the same thing. I don't know him. There's no Suzuki in this class. So that kid must have jumped into a parallel world without Suzuki. Hmm, definitely. That's what I think. We're, we're learning about parallel world stories right now. So that, uh, yeah, that's a good question. What brought you here today? That's a very good question. I was curious myself. So there's this girl. Let's call her B. She's pre and her little sister is watching TV in the same room. B asks her to turn the TV volume down so she can hear her piano playing. So B goes back to practicing, playing a little bit. She's not listening at all. 
She was really gonna let her, but she's gone. She thinks, huh. But then, B hears her sister at the door. I'm home. B runs to the front door and sees her sister and her, so B asks, but her mom says, what are you talking about? She went shopping with me. B is really confused by all of this, of course. ghost stories. Well, nice. She asks her little sister about well, it. Well, this is basically, she learns it's that her basically a murder TV mystery visual novel kind of thing. And before she went shopping uh, with her mom, there is some gameplay, but a lot of this is going to be dialogue. She was deciding whether or not she wanted to stay and watch it or not. So and right now we're contemplating decision, the reality of parallel, parallel worlds. Was made. Yeah, and what B saw might have been from the world where her sister stayed behind. <laughs> Anything else? I know a ton of stories, like being suddenly transported one year into the future. You look down at your phone, but you realize that it's you look through the content and it's filled with names you don't. Sounds scary. These are all there's just creepy more, pastas. Too. Like this town where everyone is Japanese, but uh they're speaking a completely different language, and all. And it's not like Korea or China. It's the Japan we know. But That's a prime example of a parallel world. Cool. So, this elementary school All kid, right. Wow, there's a lot of these. Towels, I didn't expect so many cup. of these side story things. But see, realize that those were... How did they get to the classroom? No one knows. It's not like anyone did it on purpose. Where did these Maybe stories come from? Happened that made... yeah. Why are we not questioning his stories? He probably just found these on Reddit. Couldn't Suzuki just be an imaginary friend or... No, A was really... It is weird, and there's no way you can pop your eyeballs back in like that. Well, not necessarily. There's such a thing as a dislocated eye. It actually isn't too hard to put your eye back in if it falls out. Ota is correct. Dislocated eyes are... As long as none of the nerves or blood vessels were damaged, there are usually no lasting negative... Yeah, I don't want to ever have to do that. This Suzuki well, I guess not. Thanks for nothing, Ota. That was a big waste of time. What do you have to tell? She's got more. She's got even more stories. Ridiculous. Dante, look at this picture. There's a famous experiment regarding this picture. You show this image to people around the world and ask a question. Which one is Booba and which one is Kiki? Believe it or not, 98% of people asked have the same answer. Booba is definitely the top the one. The rounder one is Booba, and the yes. jagged one is Kiki. Because of Isn't reasons. that weird? No. In other words, everyone Linguistics. thinks that Booba is a certain way, and Kiki is the other. It applies universally across languages and cultures. It's like something ingrained inside all humans. What does that have to do with parallel world? Like worshipping the sun and the sea, or thinking that the mother is soft and the father is jagged. Regardless of your culture or background, you probably think this way. It's what Jung called the collective unconscious. There exists a second psychic system of a collective universal and impersonal nature, which is identical in all individuals. That's what Jung said about it. Think of it like bamboo. Bamboo stalks oh. look like individual plants since they're separated, but underground, they're all connected. Human psyches might be like that too. That's... A parallel world? Yeah! You saved me Ow. in the dream, right? And dreams are all about our subconscious mind. So if you follow the roots... You get to another bamboo stalk. Yeah, hmm. so... Yep. Yep, makes total sense. Do you know Nelson Mandela? Well, I know yeah, this one. the former president of South Africa. He died in 2013. When the news broke, people all over the world thought, didn't Mandela die in prison in 1980? That's the Mandela effect. It's when your memory and history have discrepancies. There are lots of examples, like the name of this Bernstein kid's book bears. with the bears having different yes. spellings. Or yes. people remembering that Kennedy was assassinated in a four-seat car, but in our world, he was in a six-seat car. Huh. I thought it was a four- Or that electric mouse from that video game. You probably remember the tip of its tail being- It wasn't? Nope. It's all yellow. What? And the design didn't change. Oh. Lines from movies, company logos, historical events. The Mandela effect is everywhere. Why do you think that is? Because those memories are from parallel worlds? That would explain it. Mm-hmm. It's the most likely story. This 100 world is million full of really balls. interesting stuff. But you know the most interesting thing of all? 
falls. What? That humans exist at all. The universe developed in a very particular way to get here. If things were even slightly different, well, the galaxies and solar system and all of that. And that means humans would never be born. And even if everything happened exactly like that, the probability of human life developing is, and yet, here we are. Okay. Oops, okay. Yep. Imagine a box full of ping pong balls. Would you be able to pick out the one? Not likely. But what if there were 100 million of you? Well, then one of us would definitely pick up the one. Exactly! The birth of humanity is so improbable that it's basically a miracle. But if there were multiple universes... Then it wouldn't be strange that at least one of them had humans in it. She is describing the anthropic principle. I may have underestimated her intelligence. <laughs> okay. Why did you two get so knowledgeable? Oh, I don't know. Tessa is always writing about this stuff on the internet. That's why I decided to research it, too. Nerd. Oh, hey, I know about conspiracies and secret societies, too. I find that stuff fascinating. Now that if you that want, your we could talk about those. Maybe next time. Nope. Now, where's that omelet rice? Done. I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of omelet rice. But everybody seems to like it here. Bon appetit! I think it's the ketchup, really. <gasps> Disaster. What happened? The, I mean, it's okay, I guess. Maybe I should try it Tessa, again. Tessa, are you... I'm fine. My hand slipped. Let's eat. Mm. Hmm. Hand slipped. Ah, thanks for the food. I don't even know what to make of that. It's a mystery, though. Got to add it to my list of mysteries. Iris's hand slipped and dropped spoon while eating omelet rice. <laughs> That's interesting that you, you call it gravy sauce. I've always just called things gravy. But my Japanese host mom called it gravy sauce, and I was like, I think it's just called gravy. She said gravy sauce. Actually, she said groovy sauce, which was even better. She called it groovy sauce. That was good. Oh, to your omelet rice is... Yeah, it was actually... Aw, oh, thanks. I owe it to my dad. Dad, he has a dad. Let's get going. Kind of dad. Thanks again. Thank you. Come We've been on our date. Now tell me the answers. Ubi. So far, this entire game has been like. Visit everywhere trying to find Renju. That's that's the game. Along with Iris. Oh you okay? Uh, it's okay. I just uh missed a step there. She's connecting with her parallel world self that's dead. It's final destination and death is catching up to her. Or maybe it's because she stays up till past two in the morning. I don't want me to examine a whole lot of things. Like, get over it. Arch. Okay. Hi. What are you looking at? A flower over there. Flower? You can't see it from here, can you? I know it's there because I've been to this shrine before. 
Iris, I bet. Flower. Enhance. An iris. More specific. I knew it. A winter iris. This is the same flower that was on display at. Yeah. How did you know? It's the same Magic. kind that's at my house. I told you about what it means, right? Good news and hope. Iris is also a part of the eye. And the Greek goddess of rainbows. A messenger goddess. I told you at Sunfish Pocket. That's why the flower means good news and hope. Okay. Thanks. It's called Ikume Iribiko Isachi no Mikoto. Or sometimes, Ikume Tenno. There are legends about this place written in the old text. It's a shrine dedicated to the gods. The old legend goes like this. One day, Ikume Iribiko set one of his followers, Taji Momori, on an earth to find a mysterious, magical fruit. A fruit called Tokijiku no Kaku. It's said that eating it will grant you immortality. After many hardships, Taji Momori was able to find the fruit. But by the time he got back, Ikume Iribiko had died. Taji oh, Momori bummer. mourned. He handed half of the fruit to the man's wife, and he left the other half on Ikume Iribiko's grave, then died on the spot. It is said that mm, that smile. fruit <laughs> is still inside the shrine behind us. Really? The fruit of immortality. Yes. Okay. Not interested? No, not really. I'd rather have normality than immortality. Why are we telling you? It's nostalgic. This place is a memorable one for me. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone. Six years ago. Someone. I used to call him uncle. He was a thoughtful, reliable man. I thought of him as a father. Hold up. Mysteries. Uncle. Six years ago. Uncle. But one day he just She's talking Hitomi's lover. Uh, oh. Uh. It wasn't a mystery after became all. An idol, I wasn't being entirely truthful. I told you that it was because I wanted to become famous. But more specifically, it was for Uncle. I've been looking for him for six years, but I didn't oh. find him anywhere. I didn't know where else to look. So instead of me finding him, I thought that he could find me instead. You think if you became famous, he'd contact you? Yeah. So that is why she became an idol. I mean, it's also been my dream since I was little. So why do you use the name Asa? Shouldn't you use your real name? Oh no, I don't have to. He was the one who came up with the name Asa. He told me that if I ever became an idol, I should use that name. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's my notes. Do I have the name of of the guy she was dating? Hmm. Mr. Okura is it here? I don't think I do have the name of that boyfriend. I didn't write it down. I mean, of course he isn't. It's not like we came here right away. He's already taken off. Too bad. It looks like there are no further clues here. Hmm. It appears we've wasted our time. It appears we've wasted our entire day. Date, we have no time to. We should get moving. Got it. Iris. You need to tell me the answer to my question. Oh, right. We were supposed to meet some other guy who knew some things. And by the way, d welcome. I never say your name because I'm afraid I'm going to say it wrong. But you told me how to say it once before, and I forgot. Desru Bot. Desru Pro. Des. I think we decided to just call you Des. I don't remember her. Hey, Mama, it's me. Hey, Mama. Dante, honey, what's up? I'm heading over now. Glad to hear it. Maybe I'll close the place a little early for you. Uh, sorry, but I'm with someone. With someone? A girl named Iris. What? Is she a virgin? <laughs> huh? I'm not gonna answer that. Anyway, remember what we talked about? There's a regular here who was good friends with Ren. 
They should be here tonight. Oh, right. Are they coming tonight? Yes, I promise. All right, then I'll see you there. Okay, I'll be here. How are you talking yeah. on your phone without earphones? I have an earpiece implanted in my ear. Wow, cool! But actually, I have an earpiece implanted in my eye. I'll never guess that. Date, it's the boss. The boss. I have a bad... Okay, boss. Date, tell me the situation. Did you find number 89? kinda drunk. If I did, I would have told you. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Hmm. What was that about? That was a cry from deep within my heart, Date. <laughs> Do you realize how screwed I am? Go find number 89. If I find Renju, I find number 89. I'm gathering information on Renju's whereabouts now. Where? Wait, are you trying to get her drunk? She's not 21. And if she wasn't a minor? Hmm? hmm? Well, whatever. I'm sure you have a good plan. Find those two and arrest, got it? Oh boy. Wait, this isn't the diner, or this isn't the place yet. Street. So this is Golden Yokocho. First time here? Yeah. Marble is right over here. Date, on your six, two suspicious individuals approach. <laughs> yeah, they're suspicious. Dang! Go, Dante! <laughs> He's got a laser gun. Dante! <laughs> oh shoot, we're dead. We're, they're trying to get us. Stay right there. Okay. Wow, there's a ton of them. What is this? This is like Ninja Turtles. These guys look like Ninja Turtles. The rounders, yeah. Damn. Sonic music. Who are they? We can find out later. We need a way out of this. Yeah, but. I think Mama set us up. She sounded suspicious on the phone. We gotta take care of them. I have reached the same conclusion. But I've only got a single revolver. Calculating. Easy math. I mean, probably the CO2. <laughs> Date, I have a plan. I will give you instructions. Just move as I tell you. This better work. <laughs> right. Not to worry. My calculations are flawless. What's the plan? Thank you, Iva. You see that hanger over there? Shoot the bottom of the hanger with a normal bullet. Why? Don't ask questions. Just do it. <sighs> Oh. Okay, I did it. That was actual gameplay. I didn't expect. Okay. Look at that. Like that, a gift from heaven. That worked. These guys are not getting paid enough. But they're not getting paid at all. Is what I'm saying. These are the worst workers, is what I'm trying to say. Are they stupid? Just as are I they stupid? Them. Just as I calculated, they're stupid. Date, focus. 
Now, the burst shot. Shoot the portal mag vending machine. The portal mag? I said no questions. Hurry! Shoot the vending machine with the burst. What the heck? It's Japan. It, these things exist. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Boom. I didn't know I had so many amazing bullets here. Hey, this is free porn. This is crazy. I've never <laughs> seen anything like this before. This is so dumb. <laughs> yeah, they must be stupid. You are too. What? The final step. But yeah. you don't have to do a thing. <laughs> Mama, there's a group of naked buff guys dancing outside your bar. There's... what? Don't use my voice without permission. This is an emergency. I will slap you if you don't shut up. I don't know. Now, I don't know. we're ready. We just need to use the fire extinguisher. It's loaded with high-pressure CO2. Now, I will leave your eye and throw the fire extinguisher into the air. Shoot the top of the extinguisher at the perfect time. Now let's what? go! That's like... That's a big ask. It's gonna take her forever to get over. Oh, it's right there. You can lift that. Ready? Here I go. Apparently, Iris has been just chilling the whole time. Nice. I don't know what happens if you miss, but parallel worlds probably. <laughs> Calculated. to my calculations what a ridiculous scene that was just absurd okay <laughs> maybe maybe iba can see parallel worlds and and does the calculations based on every possible outcome you know maybe This is... My place. The building's got a security system. We'll be safe here. So Mizuki's not home? Doesn't look like it. I checked her phone's GPS. Mizuki is currently at Sunfish Pocket. I'm sure the mermaids are taking good care of her. Yeah, maybe, maybe this is a dream world. Maybe you're right. That's a good theory. Iris, I need to talk <laughs> to you about earlier. This whole thing is Iba's dream. From the very beginning. Have a seat wherever. He needs to tell me about last night. Because we've gotten basically no headway today. Iris, those guys who tripped, do you have any idea who they were? He... And I asked you to go on a date so many times. I don't know what that means. I wanted you to protect me. I wanted a bodyguard. 
But I thought that if I told you the truth, <laughs> you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't tell you. But now, I'll come clean. My life hmm. is being threatened by a secret society. Oh. They're called the Nizet Laws. <laughs> That's a hard word to say. I better write it down. Facts. In my facts section of my notes. I that laws. A group Maybe under the control confirmed. of the Wajat system. What? Well, okay, that explains why. Why he is unhappy about the Wajet system. Uh, I can erase that mystery. Their ultimate goal is to complete X00639. What are you talking about? Dude, seven years? You should get. I should give you bits, Mark. That's pretty impressive, actually. Holy crap. You gotta be one of the longest followers. That's that's nuts. Wow. X zero I need a lot of notes here. Completing X zero zero six three nine. When did I even start I streaming? Them and what they were up to and now it might have been the end of twenty twelve. I think. It was very Gajay, poor quality. Please help me. I was on Wi-Fi on a laptop with my laptop built-in microphone and the laptop built-in camera. I don't know what the first thing I played was. It might have been like... Yeah. Something. I know I played um, Dribble Knots. I played Barbie Race and Ride for PlayStation One, and there's something else maybe. The uh, Cat Mario game game. They're going to kill me. Wait, wait, slow down. It's spelled N-A-I-X-A-T-L-O-Z. Sometimes they just call themselves the Nice. They're the deeply nice. connected to the Wajet system. Their They're organization nice. is everywhere. International politics, business leaders. They're naughty. In geosynchronous orbit around the equator, longitude 100 degrees east, there's a satellite. I think she's crazy. It's about 150 feet long. Quite big for a satellite. True. That's most satellites are the international space station is roughly 330 feet long it's always in the same place I and there's no doubt that about it's man-made but i wasn't around for justin T. but by i heard who? about twitch in 2012 and when also. it was launched no one knows somebody my friend i was at a uh like dance game tournament place i wasn't competing but my friend was doing that so, Crusher Pants, you know, his stream. And uh, somebody there was like, oh yeah, you should check this out. There's speedrunslive.com. And it's really, really cool. And so I pulled it up and Siglemic was playing Mario 64 and Cosmo was playing uh, Ocarina of Time. I Eat Your Pie was playing Paper Mario, I think. And uh, so I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. So I watched the heck out of it. Also true. And that was Twitch. The first to discover this satellite was a space advocacy group in Japan. It was on the news for a short while. No one Most people thought it was some secret U.S. military satellite and X00639 is a super-powered radio transmitter. Radio? Uh, transmitter? Oh, it's tapping into everybody's unconscious. But it's not complete. It's still being built. And that's what they're trying to do. That's what Wajet wants them to do. Well, you know about the Wajet system, right? It's the core of artificial intelligence. Do you know where it came from? It was developed by the American tech conglomerate, Elgorg. Elgorg. But 
but no specifics have been revealed. Basically, the Wadjet system artificial intelligence is from outer space. What? It was transmitted to Earth in binary as radio waves. They were caught what? by the space dev team at Elgort, and when they decoded it, they found that it was a truly incredible source code. That's the code they used to create the Wadjet system. Is this true, Iva? It is patently ridiculous. Okay. Huh. The thing is, it's like, it's a video game. So she may be true. On the other hand, it's ridiculous. So she may be ridiculous. Nyze and Wajet have a mutually beneficial relationship. It's pretty sudden, Mikhail. Pretty sudden. Wajet can control stock prices. Nyze benefits from that. In return, Nyze helps Wajet's ultimate goal. That's why Nyze is in militaries and corporations all over the world. Let's say that one day Wajet shows up on your computer screen. Hi guys, nice to meet you. Want to help us out? Do you really think humans would help? Most people would probably think their PC has a virus or something, or they'd panic and try to remove them. I don't know what would happen. I'm sure Wadjet made their own predictions, and they thought it was best to control certain parts of humanity from behind the scenes. But they needed some kind of direct influence. That's why they created Nizet Laws. I managed to learn they're building X00639 How so did they she can manage transmit to learn their this? own data to a planet far away. If they contact a sentient species, then the process will repeat itself again. That species will decode the signal, create an AI, then build a radio transmitter. Because they're <laughs> an AI, they can create copy. Doing this over and over means that Wadjet will eventually spread across the universe. And after that? After that? Yeah. After they're spread all over space, what do they do next? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Well, why do humans have children? It's the same thing. Wajet yeah. is a lie. They want to spread across the universe. That's their destiny. Okay. All right, I get it. So her and Ota are both conspiracy theorists and f fans of sci-fi. You do? And creepypastas. Not really, but she doesn't need to know that. <sighs> but listening to your explanation, Nyes doesn't sound like a bad organization. Ah. No, that's not true. Think of how much money and resources are going tonight. Think of how many people are suffering in poverty and all the wars happening across the... and human trafficking and slavery. Nice has the power and resources to put an end to all of that. But they don't. Oh. They only care about themselves and they'll do that's anything to protect their own interests. They'll kill if they have to, which is why I'm being targeted because I found out their secret. Sure. Sure. Well... I can't say yet. Come on. But it's true. Believe me. Nice is dangerous. You have to understand, Date. You... You saw my dead body. Okay, so? Do you think that you were killed by Nice in the parallel world? Yes, I think so. She's insane. You're the only person I can trust. Please, don't leave me. You have to I don't know if the game is me. insane, or if she is insane, or if... We're all insane. Who knows? Like, who knows? <laughs> Date, you can't tell me that you actually believe this. Iba. You use the Wadjet system too, right? Yeah, I buzz under the influence of so Wadjet. So what if I do? Do you suspect me, Date? Do you think I'm an agent of Nice? Yes. Fine. This can be solved easily. Why not look into her mind? Then you will discover if her story is true or not. A sink. Of course. Well, if her mind believes it to be true, it's gonna be in there. Her mind is just going to be insane. Hmm. The 
men who attacked us at Golden Yokocho were waiting for us. Is this Psychonauts? It is a bit, actually, yeah. That it means really they is. knew we were coming. Why would that be? Someone tipped them off. Well, who could have? Yeah, it's pretty... Yeah, kinda. Someone who knew we were going to Marvel. This is the visual novel version of Psychonauts. That's right. No. Mama betrayed us. I'm Boss. telling you, Mama betrayed us. Boss? Boss betrayed us? Impossible. Hmm? Iba, can you contact Pewter? Yeah. I want to ask him something. Understood. What if we can trust Pewter and Boss is the oh, traitor? Dante, do you need something? What if Boss and Pewter are part of the Nyes? Dun, dun, dun. What if we're inside of a... Well, I don't know. Where are you? I'm out drinking in Shinjuku. I was actually thinking of heading over to Golden Yokocho, but I what? heard something about a shootout. So the cops have it sealed off. Maybe a shootout between gangs or something? The world has become a dangerous place. Computer, I need to know something. Does a sync machine exist outside of Abyss? Hmm. There's only one sync machine in the entire world, and it's with us at Abyss. For now, anyway. For now? The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen. Stolen? Six years ago. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> it was being transported when it was attacked, and then the culprit is still on the loose. Iba, were you aware of this? No. This is new information. I was not even aware there was a prototype. It's pewter. It's the wheel. It's a leg. Wait, can I examine other things? Pewter, where's boss right now? Not sure. I don't think she's at Abyss anymore. Maybe she went home? Maybe. So, neither you or boss are at Abyss right now? No. Okay. Thanks, Pewter. See you later. Sure thing. Where? Inside your dreams. What? <laughs> I'm gonna sync with you to determine if what you were telling me is true. And if it is true, I'll fulfill my wish. You don't remember? To become your bodyguard. Is that all right? Yes, of course. <laughs> I honestly hope this is not true. It's too ridiculous. It's too easy and ridiculous. Date, this time I will be remotely operating the sink. Oh, what, what does that? that mean? Are you oh. ready? Yes. Six minutes. The time limit is six minutes, as always. I know. All right. Let us begin. Hmm. I feel like it can't be that simple. It's just a secret organization. The Illuminati stole the sync machine and is making a AI transmitting satellite with an AI. But maybe. Crazy enough to be true. But it's crazy enough to not be true. It's crazy enough to be a video game. Look at this. What is this place? It's it's Shovel Forge, oh man. <laughs> Her mind is, is Shovel Forge. 
difficult to move like this. Why do you look like that? Yes. I went with a simpler look today. I figured this world couldn't handle my full resolution. Guess that's fine then. You can quit if you want, you know. Never! I will never give up! You don't have to take it that far. In any case, it seems that we've finally arrived. Is this world made of jelly cubes? This is Shovel Forge. Shovel uh -huh. Forge? I don't see any shovels. Iris said that she was focused on streaming this <laughs> game lately. What's that got to do with forges? Forget about the forges and listen! This Somnium is the world of Shovel Forge, a sandbox game in which you make and move cubes to create structures on a map. I'm not playing this game. On the contrary, you already are. Oh, come on, I don't want to play. Accept the reality, Date. You Good evening, good morning, and hello! It's Tessa, also known as Aset. You bet! I'm going to be bet. playing Shovel Forge today. Let's dive right in! No! Iris's Let's Play has begun. <laughs> help me, Date. You have to help me. <gasps> it's nice. They're coming. Find me, Date. Oh, a pickaxe. Lucky. Lucky. What was that all about? It appears that this Somnium will not be easy like the other ones. I didn't the other think one wasn't that easy. All that easy. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Are you ready? <laughs> That reminds me. Reminds me of um, 3D dot game heroes. How you can build your own character like this. They would look basically like what she looks like. I am Date. Date's in Frodo. I got a phone call from Earl. That's unusual. Hello. Sorry, what's up? Oh, is he on the phone currently? Okay, uh, I assume he wants it to, like, right now. Yeah, probably. Okay. Uh, yes. Give me a second. Yep, I'm ready. Okay, I might have missed the last number there. Oh, so that's already different. Start over. Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Thank you. I will do that. I'm streaming, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> I will not, I'll not stream our phone call. Okay. Okay, sure. Oh my goodness. This is how You said war poles? Peripheral. Oh my goodness. This this sounds like this sounds like a very involved conversation that's going to require some research on my end. <laughs> okay. Maybe maybe I should stream this call. The st the the chat might know more than I do. Okay. <laughs> okay, yep. Bye. Okay, yeah, that was interesting. Um, so, so girlfriend called. 
and her because her dad called her and her dad wanted to have me call him to advise him on what to get for a gaming computer and monitor and probably peripherals for probably racing games. Right now. <laughs> uh... So, it's urgent. <laughs> that's un unexpected. Um, that's unfortunate, too, because I got, you know, some viewers watching this right now. Uh, <laughs> a Wii. <laughs> the Wii and the, the Wii remote wheel. That's perfect. Sinking in the main. Don't worry about it. All right. Well, I, I guess I'll end the stream because this sounds like it could be involved. So I don't know how long it'll be. Um, I mean, that's kind of a bummer. I wanted to keep playing this game, but that's that's all right. The mine. You're right. It's the mine. Sinking in the mine. Next time. Maybe tomorrow. Definitely this weekend. Alright, I'm just gonna raid somebody then. Unless anybody wants to hang out in the chat afterwards and advise me, because I don't think I honestly know what he's gonna want, but I'll be. Um, so... This is a really chill streamer. You should, got, you should watch this guy. He's got the same kind of chill attitude as I do, I think. Well, maybe not exactly the same. Similar. So check him out. Jorf. I'm gonna host Jorf. Watch it. Bye. Thanks for hanging out.